Hey, it's Terry. I'm fixing to try something new. Jewel is finishing up her uh, desk that her Uncle Eddie made her. And it has the DIY paint and Old 57 crinoline and some golden ticket. And she put a, uh, oh, a transfer on top by Talk Couture. And now she's going over it with some big top and she's almost finished up there it's looking really cute but what i'm going to work on over here is something for my grandson shelton's room and this is an old cabinet door and it's it's pretty dirty it was in somebody's uh shed and they gave me a whole bunch of these that was a very nice thing to do and uh i've not cleaned it or anything yet so i'm trying to go over that and i'm wanting to see sort of how quick i can make this happen but there's there's some spider webs and other stuff going on here, so I'm going to try to hopefully get this hardware off. Because if you're making a sign, you don't need cabinet hardware, right? Oh, that screw wants to stay in there, doesn't it? There we go. Shelton's favorite color is orange. He's a big hunter. So he loves uh, bright orange, and he loves to play basketball. Whenever I was his age, maybe a little younger than him, I actually loved to play basketball and painted my bedroom basketball orange. But his room is decorated in camouflage and hunter's orange and things like that. He makes here for the artisan market. He's 13, and he does uh, transfers all my videos over onto YouTube for us and stuff like that as part of his job. But he uses a scroll saw and cuts out United States or state of Louisiana and things like that. And then paints uh, things on them. And he makes, uh, and he sold a few of those. And he makes um, lamps out of cypress knees here in Louisiana. Cypress trees. Uh, I think it's the state tree, actually. But they grow everywhere. And what they, the little roots come out of the water and it's called a cypress knee. And they're really cool to make different kinds of uh, projects with. And Shelton makes lamps out of those. So we all kind of stay busy as a family here doing stuff. Okay, so now I took the hardware off. And here's what I'm worried about. For one, um, not an experienced stenciler. And I'm going to try to do this big deer. And for two, there's a line through the middle of this cabinet so i'm really worried how that's going to go and i'm not going to tape this down and i'm not going to use one of those round stencil brushes i'm just going to take a chance that it will come out okay and i got uh i put some of the paint in this little container and then i i've got a jar that has some glaze that i've never used their glaze before but i'm going to try it and i probably should put some of the banana peel on under it but i'm not because i'm trying to hurry and then this is the most beautiful orange uh, that I got from Junk Monkey the other day. So let's see if we can. Oh, I didn't get myself some water. I have to ask Joan when she comes back. She's going to clean her brush. Try to get this on here real quick. And I'm really just trying to cover up this teal color a little bit. These cabinets were in a house that the couple who gave them to me had uh, flipped the house. Their house had burned down actually years ago and they bought this house to flip and uh, worked on it while they lived in it and it is gorgeous and come to find out actually some of our customers from years ago Bob and Stacy used to live in that house so I guess these were Bob and Stacy's cabinets at one time so it's kind of cool to know that they're, they are a gorgeous color that someone picked this out to work on their kitchen at some point in time And I'm sorry I don't have the paint colors memorized, but if you want to know what one of the paint colors are, just message me or ask on here and I will look it up. I don't know if it's on the container. I don't see it on the, Oh, this is called Crazy Eyes. That's kind of cray cray. <laughs> crazy Eyes. That sounds exactly like something I would like. Since I put this when I broke the container that this one was in and I just replaced it with uh, a little jar, so. 
I save a lot of the little sample size jars that I get in with, from some of the other brands and refill them so that I can dip in and out of them too because it's I'm very bad about dipping in and out. Put that to side. I'm gonna dry it just a tad and then I'm gonna go with that glaze and then I'm gonna sand over that just a little bit. Hey! And sand over that just a little bit. Hey Joel! I don't definitely I'm using my paint fixie brushes and I definitely don't want to ruin my paint fixie brush but she's back there she was also using one of my paint fixie brushes to uh, put the big top on top of her desk and I had told her make sure and wash it two or three times if that's what it takes to make sure that's good and clean. Hey Joel, will you bring me a bowl of water or a Jolly Joe cup of water or something so I, that I can get my brush in it? Yeah. This is going to look a little bit rustic. I'm going to sand down a little bit on the edges in a minute and I don't know what I did with my sanding cloth so I'm just going to do it with one of these round things that goes on your sand and machine thing. wonder what will happen if I stick that same brush in here. This is my first time to use the Junk Monkey Glaze and I'm excited. Like I said, normally I would put <clears throat> at least some of the banana peel or some kind of finish down before I put this glaze so that it doesn't, uh, I'm just going to use the same brush, so that it doesn't put too much of the glaze on there. I'm just going for it because the name of the game right here for me is slap it on and let's get going with this thing. See how quick we can get something made. I like to accomplish a few things in my day. We just got back from lunch and I was telling the girls, I don't feel like I have accomplished very much today. I went to bed early last night and I usually accomplish a little more at night than I did last night. But um, I'm trying to get that down in the crevices. That's just sort of making a, this is sort of making a beige out of the cream color that I used down there first, which is okay by me. And this is, I guess they would just probably just call this brown glaze. I don't know what it's called. I don't have, uh, I had to take my contact out and put it in a glass of water while I go, or in a bottle of water while I go. So right now I'm just praying that I don't drink the bottle of water that I put my contact lens in. Thank you so much. Joel. Stick my brush in there. That was a big help. Jules' desk turned out really cute. She's still got to wax the handles, but here's the drawers. They're wide in the center, and that's, uh, it's sort of ombre down and then with the gold decor on it it's really really cute for the accents and the thing she put on top was uh what does it say Jordan? Well, the thing you put on top be brilliant be brilliant it's like a light bulb like a lighted light bulb thing and that's going on on top of her little desk so we want that to look really cute for her to be have her room prepared to have every benefit of doing good with that before school starts, which I think they go for their orientation tonight. And it's school starts in two days. How many? Two. Oh my goodness, school starts in two days. For me. For her. When does Shelton school start? Monday. Monday. We don't know when Jessalyn starts. crazy. And Jessalyn starts within a couple of weeks. I cannot believe my little baby granddaughter's going to school. Jackson, my grandson, he's five. His orientation was not before last. You even knew back when my kids were in school when I was going to school, you did, orientation was something you didn't go to until you went to college. It wasn't something you had in elementary school. Now because of the EpiPens and things that my uh, granddaughters have to have, you know, Candy always has to meet with the nurse and with the principal and the teachers and things like that ahead of time. But actual orientation was they make them grow up so fast nowadays. Yes, we're going to get tomorrow. Shelton's orientation? Yes, Jesslyn's is tomorrow. 
That's crazy. That's She's crazy. three years old. She's three years old. School just starts so young. I'm going to buy another blow dryer. Is what I'm, I'm going to buy a heat gun. That's what I'm going to buy. So that this drying can keep up with how fast I want it to dry. I'm not be doing its own thing. There's, I definitely want to try to get this color out of this seam because I'm going to be trying to put paint in that seam. That's the only thing I'm really worried about is it not staying in that seam the way it should. But you know what? I'll sand over it. If it doesn't look right, I will absolutely sand over it. If you want to see some really cool uh, videos, Sonia Miller, the owner of Junk Monkey Paint Company, is super duper talented and fun to watch. And she always is a whiz with getting stuff done. So I want to be her when I grow up, except I think I have kids her age. Okay, let's see. Here's my little Popeye's old screwdriver. And. Here's the junk monkey paint in crazy eyes. <laughs> I thought this was, uh, wow, that's pretty. it's beautiful. That Remember I showed it to you. I thought it was uh, coral. coral when I bought it. And I thought that we were going to put coral on uh, Jules' desk. But it got here and Jules like, oh, that's orange. And I'm like, eek, okay. <laughs> it, orange it is. It's, it's like an orangish reddish, kind of like fire. I can't think of the name, but there's like a Crayola crayon this color, and it's like a mix of red and orange. I'm gonna, I'm just dabbing, and I think I'm gonna dab in the lid, and I'm using, because I've seen Sonya do this, so who knows whether, I mean, she's been doing this for 10 years, and I'm a newbie, whether or not uh, I'll be able to do this or not. I'm gonna have to put the glasses on, let's see if that helps with the close-up side. And I'm just gonna kinda dab at it. Oh, help me. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I'm dabbing. I don't know if I'm supposed to be dabbing or if I'm supposed to be brushing because I'm using a brush instead of one of the special, and I have them at home. I have the special ones you're supposed to use for uh, stencils and things like that, but uh, I don't have that with me and I was ready to do something right now. I came back for lunch motivated. We went to, we just walked over, there's a little uh, Cajun restaurant, kind of, we're in a downtown area and it's right down the road from us, so I went, it's called Cecil's Cajun Kitchen. We went to Cecil's Cajun Kitchen for lunch and I had an awesome grilled chicken salad. It was delicious and left me motivated to get back to work and get something done before the end of the day and time to go home. Oh man, I'm so nervous. Nothing like putting yourself out there for everybody to see what you're doing when you don't know what you're doing. Okay, are you ready? It's gonna look good either way because Let's do you it. have the power. Oh, oh, it did it, it worked. Oh, it's still wet underneath. <laughs> How cool is that? Shelton's gonna love that. He doesn't get near as much stuff as, as the girls do because it's so much easier to find cool stuff for girls than it is boys. But not saying that to be offensive. Not saying that to be offensive, but in the realm of clothes and cool things, should I put a little bit of this orange around the edges? That's what I'm gonna do. Uh -huh. That'd probably go great on his dresser. Oh, I hope so. I hope he likes it, and it, it, at least he'll know I thought about him today, and I was just loving on him from afar. He's at home right now. Normally, today would be the day he would be up here working with us and doing some of my online stuff, but he this week is, uh, Candy went ahead and took Jesslyn out of child daycare, and uh, Shelton is staying home with her this week, so he's stripping on the top. It is? Yeah. Right there? No, I'm talking about, yeah. She said it was dripping, so I didn't even try to uh, dry any of the edges. That's not bad. I'm afraid to sand. I'm afraid to sand. What if I mess it up now? I wonder if I should just leave it alone. Should I just leave it alone? 
Comment right now. I see some people watching, so comment right now. Should I try to sand the edges and distress it a little bit, or should I just leave it alone while I'm ahead? <laughs> Your vote counts. <laughs> comment what you think. I see somebody's watching, so please comment what you think. What do you think, Joel? I don't know. I think because if I sand it a little bit, it's going to go down to that teal green kind of color that's underneath. I don't know. I kind of think you should leave it alone. Please hurry and comment. <laughs> I'll dry it a little bit. Comment. Somebody's being shy. Children likes blue too though, so even if I do sand it down to the blue a little bit, I'm sure he would still see all the love I put in it for him. What you do, what you do. Boy, this dries really, really fast. Mm -hmm. And it is going to need a sealer. Um, Junk Monkey, uh, this is their chalky top paint that I just used here. And I do have, or well, here it is actually. This is their um, banana peel, which is a matte top coat. Comment. I think leave it till it dries at least, lol. <laughs> Who's that? Sherry PV. <laughs> you think leave it dry, Sherry? Am I making you nervous like I'm making me nervous? <laughs> she said she, she says leave it. At least leave it until it dries. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I'm going to do it now or never kind of girl. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh, she's doing it anyway. I'm doing it anyway. I can't help myself. Looks antique. Yeah, that's what I wanted it to look was kind of antique. I mean, we made it out of a, one of those cabinet doors that was interesting. Vintage. Match. Vintage. Yeah, that's the word. Vintage. Okay, antique. Yeah. Vintage. Vintage. Oh. She said, no, you're great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Oh, what do I do? That's okay, it, it oh, still came off. off. It came <laughs> off. I was worried about that a little Mostly came off. Mostly came off. Okay. Okay. Do some like right there. I love it. I think I think it looks a little more rustic and a little more manly. Where's that hot dog bag? Let's put some of this matte finish on it. Give us a heart if you like it at the end. <laughs> a heart. Okay. Here we go. If that's smear, then it must not be dry. Well, no, it's not all the way dry. We know that already. That I wanted to see what would happen if I just went for it. Also, I want you to comment if you think we should do like a girly one for like me or Jess. <laughs> a girly deer and like do her pink? You mean like that or do you I mean like know. a just a sign? I don't know. Make something out of one of these cabinet doors. And what do you think we should do for for a ten year old? What do you think we should do for a ten year old? girl's room on one of these cabinets. It's not supposed to be going back and forth, back yeah, and forth, so I gotta really stop. Bad. Okay. These brushes hold so much, that's why. Mm -hmm. So you go down, 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 down. Flip my brush over. There we go. I think that's good. Also, um, I'm going to be going live on her YouTube channel. What is it called? Sisterhood of the Traveling Brush. Yeah, Jewel is bringing a canvas home, but she's secretly making something for me. And I have no idea what she's going to do, and she doesn't want me to watch it. And she wanted to do it live. So do I not told her, spoil it. <laughs> so I told her that she could go live on my YouTube channel tonight if Shelton can get her signed in because he has the sign-in power. And... Uh, 
So if you see a lot tonight, it may be Jewel painting a canvas. We're going to need to get you a canvas out of there. She's yes. going to bring one home and use whatever kind of paint they have at home. And uh, paint a surprise for me that came up in her mind yesterday. So apparently I have sparked that creative urge into Jewel. could have waxed this just as easily and put a wax finish on it instead of the uh, banana peel, but I wanted to try the matte banana peel on this and see how it would do, so that's why I'm having to go through this second little sort of drying period here. I'm just going to use the white canvases because I don't think I'm going to use the black. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going to use... Here's the finished product. Not bad for I don't know how many minutes that took. Hopefully not too, too many. Oh, thank you, Sherry. She said, cool, go for it, Jewel. I'll watch you. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right, well, I think we're going to call it a day. Jewel's getting herself a canvas out of here. Sherry, I hope you're painting on something today. And drop us a picture of it down in the comments if you are. I'd love to see it. Thanks. Bye. Bye. I like it. <laughs> Thanks.